Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I know you've all been waiting for it all summer long. It's another season of Arizona Coyotes hockey. And of course, the segment Road Trip with Biz is back. And uh, we're here in Chicago, beautiful Lake Michigan. Thanks a lot, bus driver, ruining my shot. Anyway, uh, we have a very special guest, uh, a local legend. He's from the suburbs, bit of a cake eater. I want to introduce him, one of my favorite coyotes after we patch things up, Christian Fisher. Say hi to everyone. Say hi to all the Coyotes fans. Hi, Coyotes fans. Now, I, I just mentioned it. You know, we, we didn't start off as friends. Uh, we, start off, we started off with you terrorizing me in the American Hockey League when you shot the bone arrow right into my heart as I was on the bench, middle of the bench, of course. <laughs> Anything you want to say regarding that incident? Uh, I'm just glad that we're, we're friends now. Um, I didn't mean it, but emotions got the best of me, but I'm, I'm glad we're good friends now. And you're... Sorry. C city of brotherly love, so we'll uh, we'll patch that one up. And uh, great seeing you. Uh, you're, so you're not from downtown Chicago. You're you're from the suburbs. From the suburbs. Oh, yeah. uh, like you said, I'm a, I'm a cake eater, whatever that means. That was from the movie Mighty Ducks. You probably weren't born yet when that one came out. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I uh, spent spent a lot of summers down in the city. Uh, brother and sister live, both live down here and. Uh, all the fun stuff happens in the city, so this is kind of where I uh, where I go in the summers. And of course, off camera, you humble bragged a bit about being a season ticket holder of the Chicago Blackhawks. I yep, yeah, my uh, my family I think we got them in like 05, 06. So uh, all before they got good. Before they got good, yeah. So just like every other Hawks fan. Yeah. So uh, and we still have them to the date, so that's gonna save me some money tomorrow. Uh, not buying some tickets, so that's nice. Diet, rest, everything is so important in today's NHL. What's been the biggest adjustment for you jumping into the National Hockey League? Uh, I'd probably just say the the schedule. Obviously, 82 games. Uh, every every team's really good. I mean, you, you can't really have an off night where most leagues, uh, you know, you might have that team where you could put up a couple points and not try it too hard. So, um, but yeah, you got to be ready for every game, and it's tough to make sure your body is uh, up for it. I agree. I didn't take care of myself, and uh, whoops, out of the league. Uh, let's move around. I want you to show me around the town and uh, maybe get a, even a little bit of a history lesson. Uh oh, we got a seeker. We got a seeker. We got a seeker. We got seekers. Oh, hey, well, hey. He's got to do it. Not fish. Not fish. And just paid your mortgage. Uh, let's let's touch more on the the Chicago Mission and your in your minor hockey days. You know, of course, you played with Dvorak. Yep. He was a big part of this team, and then uh, later on played with Vinny Henestroza. Yep, I grew up with Vinny, so he kind of was my in to, to playing with the mission. Um, I started playing baseball with him when I was like nine or ten, and then he started uh, playing hockey, so I just followed him to the mission, and then that's where I met Devo. And um, yeah, just played there. Vinny, I never played with Vinny, but he was always at the rink kind of bullying me when I was, well, he, I was bigger than him, so that's kind of a weird thing. When, or 14. You were bigger than Vinny Hunter. Yeah. I'm yeah. shocked. <laughs> we, had a, we had a great team there. I've won a national championship there with Devo and not a big, uh, deal. Not a big deal. Not and, a big uh, deal. Yeah, it was great. One one thing I was surprised at is how many sports all you American guys play. You played baseball. I played baseball, I played golf, and a little bit of tennis too. Ten oh, yeah. Okay. Soft, soft hands. Individual sport. Now that's Individual why you're so selfish golf, on the ice. Golf and tennis. Um, <laughs> how were you as a ball player? I was pretty good, so that was probably my second second uh, favorite sport. If I didn't if I didn't choose hockey, baseball was going to be my number two. Much much like in hockey, you probably would have gotten a scholarship and then completely betrayed them and not win. <laughs> so let's give a little backstory on your uh, your college career. Yeah, uh, I actually have two credits in my name from the University of Notre Dame. Really? Not a big deal. What were your college credits in? What what's uh... um, Intro to biblical something. I was in Notre Dame. Excuse me. <laughs> and and uh, calculus. I mean, I always joke because to Notre Dame, obviously, really tough school. If I needed a transfer into uh, ASU or wherever, I think two two Notre Dame credits is probably two years of of any other school. So I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, see if I can work the Seems like here. you're the math guy. I'll just trust you on that one. <laughs> uh, let's go a little farther because we're coming up to these historical. Oh, yeah. areas 
and uh, you're going to give us a little briefing on the downtown area. Yep, I got to pull out my phone here first and oh, okay. make sure Hit the to Google look at search. Yeah. All right, thank you. Place for the Arizona Coyotes, unfortunately for you guys. Grew up here, season ticket holder of the Chicago Blackhawks for the last 10 years. So if you want to scalp any, let me know. I can get you a pretty good deal. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you guys want to say hello, he's he's born and raised here, but he plays in the NHL. It's not a big deal, really. <laughs> really. Thank yeah. you. I used to too. I played for five years. Not a big deal. Uh, hey guys, we're back. Coyotes fans, we've made it to one of the beautiful historical areas of Chicago through uh, Michigan Avenue. So any uh, beautiful restaurants or, or, or shopping you want to do, you're going to go buy more Gucci shoes like Christian Fisher over here. Christian, maybe give us a little breakdown of what we got behind us here. Yep. Yeah, we got... Uh... You got the lab. I keep forgetting <laughs> that you have the lab. We got the, uh, the water tower here. Um, this survived the uh, the Great Fire of Chicago in uh, 1871. Whoa! Name drop. Whoa! Um, Jeez, I thought, you, I thought you said you were a math guy, not yeah, a history major. I got everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, let, let's move a little past that. Let's go. Let's go to your junior career. How, how did you do in Windsor? Windsor was really fun. Um, you missed something. I went to the U.S. program before that, actually, too. That is right. You did. Let's let's hear more. You played with some really good players there. Of course, of course, Clayton Keller was one of them. Yeah. I mean, Austin Matthews. Uh, I mean, who Brent, else? Brent Matthew Ski. Kuchuk, who is your Kuchuk. best friend. Yeah, he's he's probably one of my best friends. Wow, you got a lot of friends. Man. I have a lot of friends. Talk about th that experience playing on that team. You guys ended up winning a gold medal. It must have been amazing. Yeah, that was. We I think we have like twelve players on that team in the NHL right now and probably five five more on their way so uh, it was kind of unfair to, to every international event we went to but that was that was the, probably the best part going overseas and just winning and going to see the world. Let's uh, let's go back a little bit we're going to talk about an Arizona Coyotes legend Keith Kachuk yeah. he was he acted as another one of your fathers uh, he coming up, up in the U.S. program because he actually had a house in Ann Arbor did he not? Yeah so me and uh, me and Matthew lived together and uh, Big Walt was up there taking care of us so that was uh, that was pretty cool obviously just uh, to live with a legend for uh, for two years and you know bounce questions off him and get beat up by Hey him. we're trying to do an interview here right? Pipe down! Sorry about that Chris. Sorry sorry. Yeah but uh, yeah, it was, it was good. There's uh, great memories out of that household and um, we still keep in contact pretty pretty often. Anything else that you wanted to talk about? Maybe your relations with Al Capone's nephews? <laughs> no, I can't. I, I, we're gonna be, we'll be on watch right now somewhere. By whom? <laughs> exactly. Say you're right. We've pretty much covered it all, folks. Uh, we're here on the Magnis Magnificent Mile. The Magnificent Mile. Struggling with that word. Well, folks, it's uh, before Halloween. It's uh, getting really cold out, so we're gonna wrap things up. But before we do, we're here on, the, on Michigan Avenue, the Magnificent Mile, as they call it, where everyone drops their platinum cards or whatever they do in Chicago, bunch of cake eaters. Uh, but I wanna thank my new friend, Christian Fisher, since we patched things up and uh, he didn't really catch my joke about the city of brother, brotherly love earlier. I thought he was going to correct me with the Windy City, but uh, anyway, thanks for coming out and uh, thanks for having best me. of luck the rest of the season. You're, you're awesome, man. Thank you. I really like you. I like you're you too. You're a good too. person. I, you're a good person. I didn't, uh, I didn't correct you earlier on the, on the Windy City. You know why they actually call it that? Um, uh, yeah, because it's windy. <laughs> Mm, you're wrong. Oh, really? Yeah, no, it's because back in the 1900s when they would, all the politicians were out, they would just be talking all the time, lying, blowing hot air, like just blowing, blowing wind out of their mouth. Oh, really? Yeah, so oh. I don't really appreciate you Sorry. embarrassing me, but 